Hello everyone, Amy here. So I have some great news for you. Super excited to share this with you. Um, I think it was last week where Kimberly had shared in the group how you can use these CSV files to um, upload quickly to her Square. And it was a video that she had shared from YouTube. So if you have a Square shop, definitely make sure to check that out. However, if you use Shopify like I do, I figured it out. We had some questions on there on how to do that. And so I started messing around with it. And oh my gosh, you guys, it, it like it saves me so much time uploading inventory to my Shopify website. So I am all about time savers and I wanted to share it with you. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to log into your paparazziaccessories.com website and then your replicated site. Go to profile. And then now real quick, I am on my hotspot. So forewarning, my, um, we're at the RV park and my hotspot's obviously not that fast. So well, let's try this again. Go to your profile. There we go. All right. So you're going to end up scrolling down, click on complete order history. And I'm going through, I've got packages that have been arriving this week and I need to get them onto my website. So we're going to go through and I'm going to find the one that I need to upload. We're going to do um, August 29th right here. Click on that order. Now what I used to do was click and I had to, um, which is probably what you guys have been doing as well. And I would copy them. I would highlight, I would copy, I go back and forth to my website over here and I'd paste. So I'd have to load them individually. And then what you would do is you would scroll down to the bottom there. Let's get down to the bottom of this order and you would click on this zip file and then that would download. You'd have to open it up and then you'd load individually. However, look at this. All right. So we've got the order export CSV file on here and that's actually what we're going to use. We're going to click on that CSV file. It's going to open up this window here showing you that it's downloading. Now, if you're doing multiple orders like I am today, I take note 7820 so I don't upload the same one again. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go to your Shopify site up here. You're going to click on products. And then here is the magic little key right here. You're going to hit on import, click on import. And this is where you're going to upload that CSV file. So I said it was 2098, I believe. <laughs> Should have deleted the other ones. You can see where I've been. Oh, that's not it. I did. It was 7820. Oh, thank goodness for that timestamp there. So 7820 is the one that we're going to use. See, I almost messed up. All right. So now it's going to upload here. Now this, I have not played with this right here where it says overwrite any current products. I have the same handle. Um, I'm not sure that may work. Like maybe if you're uploading uh, blockbusters, I need to kind of play around with that. Um, I'm wondering if you have like blockbusters where you already have it in your system, if it'll up, um, overwrite that and then just add the two quantities. Actually, you know, it doesn't do the quantity. So never mind with that. So I haven't played with that, but heads up for that. I just leave it blank because I'm loading all new jewelry right now. Upload and continue. All right, so it's going to be a little preview now of what it's going to actually load to your site for you. You're going to get the title description, and, and I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go ahead and I'll click on change the order of column because this was something that I was playing around with um, because I was trying to figure out if I could, you know, not have to click onto the item afterwards. But again, it still saves me a ton of time, and so it, it this loads, you know, the photos and everything else so nicely. It's um, it's really a huge time saver again. Anyway, excuse me. So you're going to get the, the title. Now these, I just leave all these on because it doesn't, there's really nothing that I, um, sorry about the volume there. I'll make sure it's muted from now on. Uh, but I, I just leave everything. It shows you kind of like getting an idea of what's going to happen here. All right. So then I'll go ahead and I'll exit out of this. Oh my gosh. I exited out of the wrong thing. <laughs> So we're going to have to do that again. Hang tight. And I remember it was 7820. We're going to do, I'm going to upload. Goodness sakes. All right. This, all right. Upload and continue. And since I've already shared this information here, we're just going to click on import products. Now, if you're doing a large order, what you can do right now is you can go ahead and you can click the little X right there or the close out and uh, Shopify will actually email you and say, Hey, the files that you were importing have now completed. So, you know, you can log onto your store and uh, complete them at that time because they're not going to be, um, they'll be on your Shopify site, but they're not going to be linked. And that's what I'm going to show you next. This is why you're going to have to um, still click on the items 
and edit a few things. Now I'm going to see how long this takes with this. Hopefully not too long with my hotspot connection, but it's usually not too bad at all. We shall see. This was a little bit of a larger order. The last one I did maybe took 30 seconds, if that. So we're going to pause here and let's see. All right. So we're going to get go ahead and import the products. And I know I'm just going to hang out. Maybe we'll have a little bit of... <laughs> Conversation time. I will. Oh, that's what I'm going to share with you. So I'm going to show you a few tips uh, when you're importing. Yay! See, that didn't take that long at all. And you know, I'm, again, I'm using a hotspot. Not too bad at all. All right. So now you're like, how do I find these items that I've just uploaded? Because this shows you all of your inventory. So um, again, what I said, it doesn't import the quantity or anything like that. So how my how I find them is I go to availability. And I click on unavailable on Facebook because since it's linked to my Facebook business page for my shop, if the quantity is zero, then it doesn't show onto the shop. So this is the easy way to find it. All right. So here's all the, uh, the items that just upload. Look, you guys, all the photos are there and they're loaded so much nicer. So we're going to go ahead and click on here. All right, so now this is one thing I wanted to share with you guys. Now, this was from some of the, the top sellers. I've w watching them um, talk and share tips and stuff like that. They always add in paparazzi. Some, most of them do actually do paparazzi accessories. I've been I've done both, and I haven't seen a, a bigger hit with it because if you're like me too and you're Googling something for paparazzi, you usually just put paparazzi. So anyway, make sure that is in your title. It's going to help you pop up on the search engines, engines a lot easier. Here's where you're going to um, fix a few things now. All right, so product availability. We're going to manage this because I have uh, my shops connected. They can shop through Messenger with me. They can shop on Instagram. Um, now, I will. you'll see two different Facebooks on here. Um, I believe this was like the old one. They've just recently done an update on Shopify. And um, like Facebook and Instagram are on that same little... Um, you can see actually right here. I think it's down the bottom there. They're on the same page. They're kind of integrating both of them there. But for now, I put on all four of my channels there. Now, you can see your photos. Now, what I like to do is I kind of like to click on them and see which one I like the best. To, you know, sometimes like the earrings and stuff like that, I like to use the actual white background. I'm going to go ahead and I just, you just drag and switch out your photos how you want them. Notice your price is always already there. Now, here's something else you also have to change. Um, I have, you can see here, I've got all these different categories um, for the product type. So this, oh, and that doesn't need to go in earrings. What am I doing? It needs to go to bracelet. Vendor is already there. Yay. And um, I don't mess with this stuff right here because I already know what my profit is. I'm not a big it doesn't matter to me for that now here's where you need to put in tax now so what what are tags if someone goes to your Shopify website there is a search bar and I'll show you on mine there is a search bar right here they're gonna click on it and then um, they can type in here if they type in whatever you know what, whatever they're looking for whoops let me go back to the main screen here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> so this is where I type in tags because that's where um, people are searching on the site and, uh, and when they're looking for certain items, <clears throat> then I want them to be able to pop up for them. So I put for this one, I put gunmetal. Um, I also put black on there because that's the co color category that they can shop by on my page. Now, if you have a hard time coming up with, you know, what are people going to look for? Like, what are they going to be searching for? Just kind of scroll up a little bit and look at the description here. So dainty gunmetal beads floral is another one I'm going to put right here. And that's pretty much, I might put stretchy as well uh, because some people do use that to search with stretchy and then floral. And I'm also going to put tag for fall because as you saw over here, I have a highlighted um, fall jewelry category. And this is like after the, our official uh, fall release and our convention jewelry and everything that went into this category here. So me typing that is going to make it actually pop up first here and re, you know just kind of shuffle these over to the left here. All right, so that is um, that. I always uh, again, I always put the collar on there and then little other little things that uh, people may be searching for. Now notice that I deleted that skew uh, because I don't use paparazzi skews. Um, I have my own, which is how you guys saw on my last video. 
how, um, you know, we go and we pull when someone orders, how are we going to find that item? So this item is going to be B767. And again, you do have to click on track quantity for this because it doesn't bring it over. So the item that we are on right now is a good mandala. So we're going to go to back to our order, find it up here. All right. And then I had ordered three. So that's where I'm going to put my quantity in three. Now I will share this too. I used to go ahead and I would weigh every item that we were doing. All right. I decided and there was nothing else that I needed to mess with down here because this is, um, you do mess with this if you have Starlet Shimmer. However, um, I don't put the weight in anymore because what happens is we end up weighing the package anyway at the end and you can edit that on your uh, shipping when you're doing a label. So it saves me time. All right, so we're gonna scroll back up. I always do a quick look, make sure I have my tags. I've fixed the, uh, the product type and my stores is a big one I usually forget to do. <laughs> so we do that and then you hit save. And then you're gonna go just click on products after it confirms it's saved. And then you're gonna go on that gives you the very next item. It automatically pops up again for you. So again, huge time saver, right guys? I mean, you don't have to like take the time to load the pictures, copy and paste and everything. And uh, I love when, you know, anything is made so much easier for me because it gives me time for anything, you know, other things that I like to do. All right, so um, if you have any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Happy to help you out and um, uh, I, oh, I'm going to do a video for you guys, too, to show how I do a, um, a draft order for customers because I'll show you this, too. So after I finish all of these, I go to my VIP group. So my VIPs get to uh, shop first and they, they get to claim first. All right. So I will I'll go through. And this was the, I think, 829 order. Let me find it. So I'll go through and I'll look at my 829 order. Let me find it because I always update as it ships here and I'll just kind of click through and if someone's wrote uh, sold on that one, then I do a draft over order order <laughs> and I will share with you guys how I do that uh, in the next video. All right. Again, any questions, make sure to comment them down below. Hopefully this helps you out and saves you a little bit of time. Bye guys.